Welcome to another video. Today we will be covering Quen3. They've got a new upgrade in the platform that is called WebDev. So you can click on this option and you can create your own personal website inside this platform. Also, what I have heard is that you want to open up thinking mode and click full thinking budget to get the best results out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it my very, very special prompt, which is the SEO optimized transformer teaching web page. So this is the most usual prompt I use in all of the benchmark videos, and this is completely free to use. So this is a very free web developer and we're using their most powerful mixture of experts language model, which is Gwen3 235 billion A22B. This is their best, most powerful model. That's what you want to use. So let's give it a try. So we're running this and it started to run already. Also, you don't want to miss out my next two videos because I'm going to show to you a competitive platform to this one where you can use a free AI model that will allow you to create websites in minutes and you will be able to sell these websites to local businesses. So this will be amazing. Also, you don't want to miss out my next video about Quen because we are going to cover its new secret feature that just got launched. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay around. Also, if you are interested to learn more about AI, I have created a course that allows you to learn how to leverage and use AI. I will give you the link for it down below in the description. It will lead you to this landing page and if you click enroll in AI mastery course, it will lead you to this course over here, which is learn to use LLMs for free with ChatGP, etc, etc. I think you're going to love that course. And currently I'm working on an even bigger course that is going to be mind blowing in ink for everyone that joins in. Deep research, images, videos, coding, text, video automation, video recording, video editing. This course that I'm creating for you for less than $40, one time fee, is going to be the most insane thing ever. It's going to be insane. Over 20 hours of content is getting prepared right now for that course. I don't know what to tell you. And it's only $40 for 20 hours of content plus. And I will be updating that course all the time. So what I find out here is that this web dev model is very slow. This is pretty insane. I expected Quen to be a lot faster because it activates only 22 billion active parameters. Also, I have made a video covering the benchmarks of Quen 22B and 3B. You can go ahead and watch that video. I uploaded it like a week ago, exactly when Quen 3 launched. But yeah, guys, the model is quite slow. I don't know why. Guys, it's insane. Three minutes after, <laughs> I have literally cut the video. It's still writing everything. This is so insane. It really is a verbose model. Like, I would be so scared to use it through API. It would cost so, so much. But as we can see over here, what I like is that it also shows you the preview. So we're actually going to see the preview. I also like that we can so easily set up the thinking budget for the model and that we can also select that our use case is web development. This makes it so much easier to develop exactly what you want and the model is going to prompt engineer and improve your result. So I think this is amazing to see. I really look forward to see the result of this query. I have huge or let's say super high expectations so let's go ahead and see what the result will be. Hopefully it's going to look nice. Everything is going to work. Hopefully it will have some animations. And of course, because we have tested this query loads of times in this channel, I can give you a comparison to what other models have done and whether this result is good or not. Okay guys, so the result is ready and in all honesty, it looks kind of nice. Okay, so, okay, master transformer models, learn the fundamentals. Okay, get started. Transformer, all right, this looks clean. Okay, we see that it has a code example. Advantages, challenges, practical, use cases. All right, code, example, good. Uh, industry, applications, code example, good. 
advantages, disadvantages, live code exploration, oh, ready to master transformers, FAQ, link to original paper, other links. Guys, this is a wonderful page. I would place it right below Lovable 2, right below Yourware, which we covered in the previous video. Amazing tool. But in terms of an LLM or an actual chat from an LLM company, I think the result is great. We don't find usually websites or LLMs that can actually do this thing. And Gemini 2.5 Pro can actually do a similar quality website, but not with these kind of gradients and this beautiful aesthetic styling. So I would say that Gwen 3 Web Dev is better in this example than Gemini 2.5 Pro and lags behind only Lovable and Your Wear. Okay, so I think the result is very, very good. Don't forget, this is free. Let's try another prompt. I'm not going to go with a SPX 500 calculator because I don't want to waste your time. I want to actually create this Flappy Bird game that so many LLMs lately have been unable to create. They created bad kind of uh, results, so I really want to see if it can actually create this. Hopefully it will. I'm skipping the calculator part, I'm skipping like this Udemy super hard example. I don't expect these models to be able to handle that, so I'm skipping it entirely until we actually get these models to be more like O3 and be like more agenting, being able to use MCPs, being able to use memory, browse the web on their own, like GenSpark or these kind of things. And I think I actually have to cover GenSpark soon again because they've made huge upgrades. So yeah, remind me in the comments to do just that because I always watch the comments. So write down below GenSpark so it hits up a notification on my phone and I go ahead and do that in the next two to three days. Okay, so I really like that again, it's another tool that is thinking and it also shows you it's thinking. This is so important and I think most companies will be using the thinking of other companies to actually get new data, better data and improve their models. I think China is already doing that, but I expect pretty much every company to do that. So maybe a company is better on a benchmark or a specific field, another one on another one. And I firmly expect that at the end of the day, all of them will converge to the same quality across all fields. And then it's going to be just architecture, compute and synthetic data generation changes. So while we wait for this to finish, I just want to give you my prediction. I firmly expect that at the end of the year, there's going to start a massive spiral of layoffs from junior programmers to senior ones to managers, virtual assistants, and everyone that pretty much works on the digital areas. Elon Musk is also bringing robot taxis. Teslas are already ready to be robot taxis. And there seems to be a change from digital world to the actual world uh, that is not digital. So it's pretty scary. And you know, I really don't know what's going to happen. It's both exciting, but also scary. So I'm making sure that I'm keeping some money on the side. Um, so yeah, sadly it cannot show us the result. So I will have to get that and put it into P5.js. As I requested, I guess they also need like an HTML or something like that. So let's take this code, put it in P5.js, hit play. Okay, so the game is working. Oh my God, what is happening? Okay, this is a hard game and I actually lost. If I fall down, I'm not losing. Okay, so we've got some obstacles. So I guess I have to avoid the upper hand obstacles. Every other obstacle is quite safe. Okay, so game finished. Okay, so this is a good game. I gotta say, this is not a bad game. Um, maybe the obstacles don't work that well, but everything else I pretty much like. This is super unique. I have never seen it from many other kind of model and you know, it works for the most part, it works. So yeah, we died. So that's nice. This is a very good game. I think actually this is one of the best games 
an AI has created, uh, not that much visually, it has the score, but in terms of creativity, this model seems actually a little creative. So I think I like the final result. This was enjoyable. And I would like to let you, I would like you to tell me if you like Quen3 and make sure to subscribe because in the next video we're going to check the deep research answers that it gives us.